Well, we're just crashing through the bush because we've managed to find this carcass and I'm trying to find a way through here. Um, the carcass is very interesting because it's a white-tailed mongoose that is the carcass that we found and the tracks for me are definitely a honey badger which is really interesting. There's no honey badger itself that we could see um, so I brought Seb with me to have a look. Seb, do you reckon we can get down there? Yeah. Whew, that's gonna be tight, but let's try. Um, so it looks like a honey badger that's dragged this white-tailed mongoose. It's been dead definitely for more than a day though. see if we can get down here because it is very steep down here so we're gonna have to try and see if we can just go slowly there we go now getting out is going to be a whole nother story doesn't sound like Rusty's all that well either by the sounds of it its fan belt is not doing very well but we'll try to fix that just now but it's really really weird because and there's this drag mark and it's definitely, like I say, for the white-tailed mongoose that's being dragged. But then strewn all over the place is a bunch of feathers as well that look like from possibly a barn owl or a spotted eagle owl. You can see them all on my right-hand side here. So there's a whole bunch of feathers all spread out. And initially I thought maybe this is where the carcass was and maybe that it was a bird that had been dragged. But then I went back and looked at the tracks and there was definite sort of foot drag marks. Um, or as though like hooves or feet had been dragged and then we followed the drag mark further and we found the dead white-tailed mongoose But there you can see the feathers. They look like a barn owl feather to me I might be wrong, but it's got that cream coloration Which is what you would see on a barn owl and the size of the feather and the width of the feather Tends to sort of show that it's one of those so if we have a look in the book I'll be able to show you why I say it's that bird and if you look at the barn owl here You see it's got these slight sort of orange tinge orange and gray tinges to it. So I'm pretty sure that's what was caught here. I wonder if maybe this is just a stash point for whatever this is that it's eating different things. The thing is is that these feathers are spread all over the place so it would indicate maybe that this bird was eaten in the big jackalberry above me. But let's try get up towards where <coughs> that dead mongoose is. So the plot thickens. It's a really complete mystery to me. It would be the first time that I've ever So James, you say you love a good bush mystery. Well, James, this is about as good as it gets. This is a first for me to see a white-tailed mongoose that is dead, to be honest. So that, or that has been dragged as far as this one has been dragged, that's not a leopard. So if it is a honey badger, it is the most ridiculous thing that I've ever seen. And if we don't get any luck now, because I'm, there's nothing here, like I say, I walked right up to it and we managed to find it. But if there's nothing here now, it might be worth coming back tonight. So there's the dead white-tailed mongoose lying on the ground over there and it doesn't look as though too much has been eaten of it you can see there's quite a number of flies all over it but definitely a white-tailed mongoose that's for sure and it's the tracks that we had were not for a white-tailed mongoose the tracks that we had looked honey badgerish to me and Seb seems to agree we went and had a look together I'm gonna try and find a track book so I can show you why I say it is a honey badger carcass. There's also bite marks around the head and face and a little bit of feeding towards the tail end. Not much, but a little bit has been eaten out between the back legs there. And you can see those feet are quite pointy. So it's an indication of a um, animal that was dragged along in the track that we saw. I said looked a bit hoof-like. And so those pointy toes might have left a very similar sign. Now I'm just trying to find... James, you want to know, other than tracks, is there any other way to determine if this was fed on and killed by a honey badger? James, to be honest, no. I don't think so. Well, not in my experience anyway. That it, it, To me, when I first saw the drag mark, thought leopard straight away. And then only when I saw the tracks did I say honey badger. But in terms of their feeding behavior, I'm not sure if maybe Steph knows a little bit more. But I haven't had too much experience with honey badgers. You know, they occur everywhere where we work, but so seldom seen that it's difficult to actually draw any sort of conclusions about them and 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 to know their feeding behavior we just don't get to see them feeding as much as i would like to to be able to say what they are and, and exactly what the sort of feeding structure is we know that with cats they like to feed 
um, from the back between the, the legs and then forward towards the head. But with a honey badger, you know, when I've seen them eating tortoises, they just crunch and go crazy with it. Right, now while I sit here for a little bit and try and figure out what's going on and find my track for my honey badger because I've got it somewhere in my books here but I've just got to dig through the big pile of books that I have and see if I can find it so I can show you why I'm saying honey badger and not white-tailed mongoose but while I do that I believe James is also out and about and he too has some tawny predators that he would like to show all of you.